so till now we've learned quite a lot and we are progressively going in a very good pace so in the last lecture we learned how you know we can pass parameters to a route how we can fetch information and how we can reactively you know change the content inside the page as well as the content that we have in the route so now like i want to teach you how how can we pass query parameters to a route so query params are actually parameters that are separated by question mark like you know let me show you like uh, let's say is, uh, is applicable applicable equals to false something like this and we can have fragments like mode available something like this so this is the way how why we will be doing this thing in this lecture and i want to tell you how can we you know add query parameters to a route there can be certain scenarios where you want to fire the query parameters as an input parameters to your route so that you can pro uh, uh, you know you can process some uh, thing or something in your component with these input parameters so let's get back to a code and let's add some you know some extra route information uh let's say i need to here i want my uh i already have language let's say is i have um languages slash colon id slash e d i t so i wanted to you know i wanted to make a user that he is going into the edit page of the language so here we have the edit section here and i want them to go that you know i want to navigate the user to the edit page of the language so i'll just change the component to edit language component so since i want to you know go on to my edit language component so i need to make changes as well into my language component so where is my language component over here so here uh, we have the anchor tag and here i wanted to provide the router link route link property and it should be in a, a javascript type because we'll be passing array to this and uh, first will be like in languages the other parameter will be let's say id 3 and the other we need to edit that page right okay i forgot the double quotation mark so this is it let's see if it is working or not let me save the changes let me go back uh yep i have so let's say is i am in the study material and click on the study material or esp dot or anything so it is navigating me to the edit language field and you can see the router as well now i wanted to add you know query parameters into this url so let me see that in action let's go back to so here uh, we'll be using another binding property that is query p a r a m s query params and here we will be you know it's actually a uh, we'll be taking a javascript object over here and we'll be assigning the values let's say is allow edit and allow edit to true let me provide that information and we'll just save that thing so we'll just save the information and let's see if we are getting the desired result and let me go to my study materials class and click on asp.net in any of the language goes and you can see we are fetching the information so if i click on any other we'll getting the same information again and again so this can be changed and we can you know change it this in our later videos now let's get back again to a code and we'll see how we can add fragments 
to a router here I need to add fragment frag sorry quest 2 let's see working so this is it let's see if I change it and see if the changes are reflecting in the app as well let's go to the study material click on angular as you can see we have the fragment loaded so we have learned how we can pass query parameters as well as fragment to the route and now let's see how we can do this programmatically so let's get back to our code and uh, so uh, we have already defined a load on load data function in our home component here let me pass a value to it let's say it's 4 this can be our id so let's save this and let's go to the TypeScript and here uh, we need to define ID as a number since we have already defined and now we want to navigate so what we'll do is like we'll provide the complete route information here comma ID comma let's say edit and now we need to pass the query params query params query parents would be you know uh, it takes a javascript object allow edit as in one as it says as in true and the other will be fragments fragments can be working working like this right so let's save our changes and let's go and just check if everything's working we are in the home page and let's click on router information and you can see we got the desired result so we can do it uh, you know programmatically as well as by using router link as well